Welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're going to be looking at the best money making methods uh, inside of the new Dwarven Mines. Now, very first one, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, before we do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more. But uh, the very first method is going to be just killing a bunch of goblins. Honestly, this can be a very effective method. If you just run through here a bunch and uh, kill as many goblins as possible, you'll eventually get some good amounts of coins. Now, the way you get coins is a few different ways. So, if you're, this is basically for when you first start out in the Dwarven Mines, this is what you want to be doing. Uh, because you'll get both goblin armor, goblin eggs, and you'll get bags of coins, uh, which will give you a decent amount of coins over time if you grind them for a decent amount of time and uh, kill quite a few. You should get a few bags of coins. Hopefully, I can get one on camera. Um, they shouldn't, they're not normally that rare, so you could probably just get them pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, then the goblin set, you can use it uh, uh, to gain some mining speed early game. It's very good. Uh, I don't use it that much because I find it annoying because it converts all of your mana into uh, a mining speed, which is which is very good when you're mining. But obviously, I quite like to have mana to teleport around and uh, it's a bit annoying when it takes all of it. So yeah, goblin armor, very good. It doesn't sell for very much, but in terms of money making, I don't think I've actually got any yet uh, somehow. I normally get them very quickly, but it uh, doesn't look like it today. Um... But yeah, you can get like 10,000 coins per bag. Right, my next method is definitely going to be uh, killing lots of different mobs. Uh, they, this can get you a decent amount of money. Now, I'm going to especially focus on killing some ice walkers because I actually need some glassite jewels. And I got on live on camera. That's really good. Now, I believe these sell for a decent amount on the auction house because I currently need them to make a drill. I think you need five of them for the first drill. And... Uh, just getting a bunch of those. I, th I someone said they sell for four hundred k. I have to go check that because I'm not exactly sure on that. But also, you can get glassite armor, which if you have a high mining level can be very good. It's probably better than goblin armor, just about. Um, I have think I have two pieces of the glassite armor. Um, but if we go to the hub, let's check. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I just dropped my mic. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, right. Let's head into the uh, auction house and check the price of glassite jewels. Um, in here, we've got glass. If we search up glassite, we should be able to find. Uh, actually, if we search up uh, glassite. I guess if we just look through the different ones, I can't remember what it actually is. And there we go. So glassite jewel lowest price is going to be fifty thousand coins. So that's that's a decent amount of money. Uh, but also these are very useful for most things. So you can turn these into bejeweled handles, which are, are very uh, good materials. And uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is. Uh, Back to the Dwarven Mines quickly. Um, there is a thing called Treasureite. Uh, I currently have some in my inventory. And uh, you can get this from the Dwarven Mines. Basically, you have to go to the Upper Mines, which is quite difficult to get to if you don't know where you're going. So I will show you that really quick. Um, so if we head into the Dwarven Mines, then uh, you go just from the lift operator, you go back up to here and uh, head up on here. And then you just you find this red carpet and you go left and uh, you make it to the upper mines and then through here you will find these guys so the treasure hoarders now you can get these treasure right it's an epic item it drops uh about it's about a one percent chance from these guys so i probably won't get one live but uh they're very it's very it's very dark in here i did in the, my fairy soul video you have to come in here uh there is a fairy soul up there um and uh, you get a bunch. You can get a bunch of treasure, right? And this treasure, right, will sell for a decent amount of coins, I believe, still, because um, it is one of the main components for the drill, uh, which basically shows you what things you're going to make money on based on uh, what is used in a drill. So if we head back to the hub again, uh, I'm in combat, but um, you should we should be able to find that treasure, right, sells for a good amount of coins, hopefully. And uh, last time I checked, this was actually 400 coins, so uh, uh, 400k coins, I mean. Uh, if we search treasure, treasure right, I think that's how you spell it. Uh, so yeah, two hundred and eleven thousand coins. It's gone down a little bit. It, it, it's very useful. So and you can get a decent amount of this. So you get you get ten. You can either make yourself a drill or you can sell it for two million coins, which is ridiculous. So definitely try and go for those. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else I can think of. Um, there is a bunch of cool ways to make money in the Dwarven Mines, but one I, one thing I'd say is uh, if you're not using your Mithril for anything, definitely be selling that to the Bazaar. Uh, the way you want to convert it is either you can sell it straight as Mithril, or what you can do is have your personal compactor set to compact Mithril, and uh, it will automatically do it for you. That's how I managed to get about a stack of Mithril uh, enchanted. Um, to get the drill, uh, this is what I've got put together so far. Um, 
it's a lot of stuff. I've already got the refined diamonds somewhere. I think they're in my forge, actually. I need to go collect them. I've got the fuel tank. I just need the gold plate, which is the difficult part, and also three refined mithril, which is quite hard to get. Um, so, yeah, it's very easy to make money in the dwarven mines if you can just do the right things. Now, I think most of the NPC, one of the NPCs, Fetcher, I think last time I checked he was disabled, but... Uh, I don't know exactly what he's on right if he's working again right now. Ah, he, he is back. So, uh, I'm looking for the stuff. I don't remember the name. It's wearable and grows. Um, I don't know what that could be. Maybe like growth armor or something? I don't know what that would be. Um, but yeah. So, let's. Uh, I'm going to get into another money making method if I can think of one. And uh, let's get straight into that. Alright, for the final tip, I would suggest, uh, this is definitely one for the late game players, because you're going to need some ridiculously good armour to do this. Uh, I will probably not be able to do this very well, but uh, you have to go down to the mist, and basically there are these things called ghosts down here, and uh, they will do a ton of damage to you. Uh, instantly, they've already hit me down to 484 health, which is ridiculous, so basically what this will do is... Uh, Every time you kill one of these, you have like a 1% chance of getting a sorrow. Now, these will be used to make sorrow armor, which is one of the best uh, dungeons, um, no, Dwarven Mines armor sets you can get. Now, this is going to be really difficult for you guys, because, but the full sorrow set uh, goes for around 45 mil, which means each sorrow goes for somewhere around, I think there's, you need 5 per slot, so you need 20 for boots, stuff like that. So... Uh, in order to do this, you're going to need some very good stuff, and uh, you're going to need a lot of patience as well. I do 2k damage with uh, an aspect of the dragons, which is not very good, um, and I take a lot of damage as well. So, yeah, this is very much a late game one, but it's definitely worth it, because this can make you around 30 mil an hour, if you get it right, if you get like the, the, the perfect setup. Um, uh, so, I remember 30 virus, he, he, he uh, did this sort of thing. Uh, he, he, I think there is a way to sort of cheese it somehow, but I'm not exactly sure how currently. Um, lowest price of is 5 mil, so that, for the, just for the boots is 5 mil, then it's another 7 mil. It's about the same price as Superior at the moment. So, uh, yeah, definitely go and get that while it's still... Uh, don't don't go and get the armor. I mean, either craft it with your sorrows or sell your sorrows for more money. So, yeah, that is basically a really good way to make money in the late game. So, uh, if you didn't, if you did watch this video and you did enjoy, uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications. But that's going to do it for today. So, if you did enjoy, uh, I always say that, but goodbye.